So far, we were concerned with uh, integrals over finite uh, sets and closed intervals. But for many practi practical uh, applications, we need a more broader sense of an integral. And that will be the improper integral um, on in finite intervals, uh, numerous applications in statistics. Well, consider, for instance, uh, the function fx equals uh, 1 over x squared. And uh, we're going to produce the surface area function, the area function at, which is the definite integral from 1 to t fx dx. So this is the picture. In blue, we get the area enclosed by the graph of f in between 1 and t and the x-axis. So since we have a, a simple function, we can actually calculate at at is the integral of, uh, the definite integral from 1 to t over 1 over x squared dx and 1 over x squared has as primitive minus 1 over x so we may calculate at as 1 minus 1 over t now what happens if we choose t very large or suppose we take even the limit for t to infinity. So if we take the limit for t to infinity, we see that at goes to 1, since 1 over t vanishes, goes to 0. So 1 minus 1 over t has 1 as a limit. So this one exists. So we may actually speak of the area enclosed by the graph of the function, the line x equals 1 and y equals 0. So we can forget about the right end t. So we are capable of calculating the total area, which is an infinite area. Yeah, so there's a finite, infinite region, but we still can speak of the total area of this infinite region. Well, we will uh, choose to denote this as the limit of t to infinity at as the infinite or improper integral uh, from 1 to infinity fx dx. You know, so within this notation, you should be aware that actually that th this is an integral statement, but it includes implicitly the notion of a limit. Uh, when such is the case, we will call an integral improper. So an improper integral is the limit of a, a bunch of definite integrals.